I'm asking mum to take a photo of Ayla made her get in the bushes. Your own pictures. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Today is so exciting. I'm doing something I have never done before and that is to celebrate the Gold Cup, which is the races on the main day at Cheltenham. Love doing new things. I have a new friend and she is really into her horse racing. We're also gonna be doing a syndicate as well. So hopefully I come into the money. I know absolutely nothing about horse racing. I could not tell you three facts about horse racing. So I'm actually really excited. So before I do my makeup and get changed for this fabulous event, I actually have to make a cocktail. Lauren had this idea that she saw on TikTok it's trending all over TikTok at the moment to do a bring your own cocktail board. So now I was just telling me about it, I was like, what the hell, what's a cocktail board? It's pretty cool actually, it's pretty cool. So everyone brings a cocktail, the host decides on the theme. So Lauren has decided that the theme is your job title. Everyone has to bring a cocktail and then you also have to decorate your board to represent your job title. So my job is to market healthcare, which is pretty tough. So I was brainstorming with Nathan, he came up with an amazing idea of number one, doing a syringe. <laughs> That represents the healthcare element. You can't get more doctors, nursing, AHP than a syringe. And then to cover the marketing element, he had the amazing idea of little blackboards. So I've got these, so cute, little heart shaped as well. I market healthcare for the NHS and everyone loves the NHS. The NHS is dear to everyone's heart. Heart, I thought I could put on here, buy one, get one free, register now, clear CTAs that everyone knows. And last but not least, probably my favorite decoration piece for this cocktail board is a pepper pig box. <laughs> Pepper's medical case. So I actually now need to make the cocktail. I need to make it for 12. Taste test. Delicious. So now I have to do the most speedy Gonzales get ready in history of get ready. So obviously my hair is already done and I've already got concealer on, um, but I do want to do a full face makeup. <laughs> And honestly, I was meant to be there nine minutes ago. I was meant to be there an hour and nine minutes ago, but I said I'd be an hour late and... Bye. I'm gonna do a time lapse now so I can get ready. This nervous energy is getting the most of me. Yeah. Do you know when you're in a rush and you know what you think you're gonna wear, but then you get it out and then it needs ironed? <laughs> That was me today. Everything is just going wrong, but I'm finally ready. I've just got on this bodysuit and some jeans. I literally never wear jeans. I've worn these jeans once before and I bought them last year. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into jeans, so I just feel like there aren't many trouser options in the winter time. This is the final outfit, very neutral, just popped a blazer on top, and now it's time to go and watch horses race. Uh -oh. yeah. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Hello, I have some gorgeous sunset lighting on me. We're in the farm and the sunset is just there and the field is here. It's gorgeous, but I'm 10 cocktails down. <laughs> so I've got about a thousand different spirits inside me, but it's my turn to do my cocktail. So let's make my cocktail board. Hello, Hello a lovely darling. <laughs> I was just saying what lovely sunset. Got me on that one night. Girl, I want to know how this thing get out of my control. Set, set. Good morning everybody. Well I say good morning, it's actually the afternoon now. But yesterday was so much fun. It is so nice to do something different. I love doing different things, different celebrations, different, I don't know, I just love it. I've never watched the horsing before. Horsing? <laughs> I've never watched the horse racing before. Like I said yesterday, not even on TV or anything. We did the cocktail boards and honestly, I thought that I would end up on the floor by four. Imagine drinking 12 cocktails. I get sick on just one night out. So I'm surprised that I was absolutely right as rain. And then in the evening, we just went out to town, did some dancing, it was super fun. And I felt absolutely fine today. In about half one, slept until 12. So I think that's why I'm feeling right as rain today. But it's Saturday today and it's gonna be one of those days just getting stuff done. I need to go and get my Mother's Day flowers today because top tip, never get them on the day of Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday, because when you go, they're all gonna be gone and they're gonna be a pile of crap. Also need to choose an outfit for tomorrow. So so tomorrow is Mother's Day and I'm taking my mouth for the day. It's all a surprise and I need to decide what I want to wear. So I've pulled together a few things that I need to try on because I might as well just try them on now, know what I'm wearing tomorrow rather than taking them to mum's and deciding that because time is going to be of the 
essence. So I've got it in my head that I really wanted to wear a neutral colour palette tomorrow. So I pulled a few things and I think I'm leaning towards this. But I'm worried that it's going to be a little bit too dressy for what we're doing. And then I did grab these white cargo trousers out. But we're going on the tube and I think they'll just get absolutely filthy. And then I've got this kind of taupe dress here. And then just throw on a blazer or that nude kind of biker jacket style there with balloon sleeves. But it's really, really dirty. It's really old. So I don't know. And I've also just got a few sunglasses because fingers crossed it's sunny tomorrow so i'm gonna try on these whilst we're on the topic of clothes i wanted to tell you about a brand i've recently discovered i'm wearing one of their items right now they were so kind to send me a package of items so i thought that we could run through try on some clothes together you can give me your thoughts i'm wearing one of their pieces right now and i'm just completely obsessed let me show you in the mirror up first we have this gorgeous taupey chocolate brown co-ord and i am just obsessed we all know that i absolutely live in either a tracksuit or leggings around the house so i absolutely love this i just feel that it helps you feel a little a bit more manicured when chilling around the house or working from home what i love about the top is that we have little split hem detail there and then also the sleeves are elongated and the trousers themselves are wide leg i just think it's so cute it's so cozy as well i was so obsessed with this set that i had to pick it up in black as well so gorgeous look at how unbelievable the quality is it's just such good gorgeous quality it is ribbed it is cozy it is knitted i am obsessed and then last but not least we've got this gorgeous chocolatey brown jumper here once again it needs an iron so ignore that but i am just you guessed it obsessed obsessed look at the neck it is a gorgeous turtleneck ribbed detail and then it actually comes quite long so i decided to tuck it in on one side i just think that it styles a lot better than if it was completely fully loose it also has a split detail hem here it is super soft so make sure you go and check out nora cora's website i will leave their link down below we're going into spring now they've got some gorgeous bits for spring over there so go and check them out and a very big thank you to nora cora for sponsoring this part of the video Let me channel my inner Hamilton. We're off on an outing. Today is a complete surprise for Mother Hen, isn't it? Have you got any idea what we're I doing? I haven't got a clue and I'm very anxious. They won't give me a clue. I had a nice little outfit on but I got told to check. <laughs> I got really stressed because... I arrived and it did look really nice but it was just a little bit short and I was like oh I think you should wear this stunning jumpsuit that she has and she was like but now I'm all anxious now I'm all stressed need no help that saw me could own the jail the army rooftop bar oh, I love rooftop bar <laughs> she loves how long does she tell me to dress up smart <laughs> I literally thought we was doing some sort of dance I am impressed <laughs> Mother and Sunday, 27th Mother's Day on Earth. I can't believe it. the jail the army. Remember when they didn't want to call me. Now I can't keep an ass on me. Guys, I'm asking mum to take a photo of me. And I've made her get in the bushes <laughs> so she can get the right oh angle. Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> oh no, this is a joke. I love doing that anymore. <laughs> take your own pictures. No, that's not. No. Getting attacked here just so she can get a nice photo. <laughs> Guys, before we go on, you have to listen to this. So, as we've already established, Mother's Day was a complete surprise for Mum. Mum had absolutely no idea what we were doing. You've seen phase one, which was taking her to a rooftop bar. Unbelievable bar, by the way, Wagtail. If you're in the London area, then I definitely recommend. So you saw Mum's reaction. She loved the rooftop bar. Brilliant. So phase two of the surprise was taking her to see Tina Turner, the musical. My mum has wanted to see this musical, honestly, since it came into the West End. I don't know how long that's been, maybe four or five years. For a very long time, mum has been ranting, raving, riveting, shouting, barking to go to this musical. So I thought, okay, this Mother's Day, let me surprise her. Anyway, we're on the train, on our way into London. Mum's guessing different ideas of what the surprise could be. Could it be this? Could it be that? And then all of a sudden she goes, you're not taking me to see a theatre show aren't you you know I don't like those <laughs> and when I say my heart sank to the floor and was ripped into shreds 
I was really sad because listen, my mum is the type of person, if she doesn't want to do something, she's not going to do it. If she doesn't want to see something, she's not going to see it. She is very strong natured. That's just who she is. So suddenly I was really upset and I was trying to not let mum see my reaction. Obviously I didn't want to spoil her mother's day, but I just knew it might not end very well for me because listen, the last time we went to the theatre, we saw Legally Blonde, the musical. It was for one of my birthdays. We go, it's fantastic, sit down 10 minutes in and mum says, there's a rather large man next to me I can't breathe so I'm like okay just relax like shut the hell up let's just watch the show she's like I can't take this I'm going and she leaves me <laughs> I spend my birthday alone in the theatre because my mum gets claustrophobia <laughs> So anyway, I try and put that little issue to the back of my head and I just focus on being at the rooftop bar, having fun and time is ticking. It's time to make a move to get to Tina Turner the Musical. So obviously, mum still doesn't know the surprise and I'm like, right, okay, so we've got to get to our next destination. So I put it in and you know when you're just thinking out loud and I go, Tina Turner the Musical. <laughs> I just ruined the surprise that she didn't even want to go to. I was so angry with myself because I hate surprises being ruined. I was just so infuriated, but luckily she had the most amazing, incredible reaction. And long story short, she did want to go to the theatre because she was seeing Tina Turner the musical. So even though it started off with the fact that she didn't want to go to the theatre, she then did want to go to the theatre, but I'd ruined the surprise. She knew what she was seeing. Anyway, roll the tape, roll the reaction. Mum was happy to go to the theatre. That still wasn't a long story short, was it? <laughs> oh my God! I've been waiting to go and see that for ages. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Oh my God! Oh. That's where we're coming! Flying into your timeline. Hey, that body don't lie. I didn't care for the hype, yeah. But when I saw you tonight, ooh, girl, you know just what you're doing. I'll go a thousand miles to show you that I'm right for your love.